I'm Jim Reardon Anderson, and I'm teaching a course in the spring 2016 semester on communism in China. This course covers the rise of the Chinese Communist Movement from its founding in 1921 up to 1949, which is the founding of the People's Republic of China, or Communist China, and then follows the movement from 1949 to the present. The reason for covering both the pre-49 and post-49 periods is an, an attempt to get at the origins of Chinese Communism and that, the impact of those origins on post-49 behavior. This, uh, this course is interesting primarily because of the importance of China in international affairs, but also the importance of China as a mirror on understanding ourselves. So we're going to try to get at both the roots of the behavior of China in the 21st century, as well as what it tells us about human behavior generally. So I've been uh, involved in the study of China since I graduated from college in 1966. I started out in Hong Kong, actually before Americans were even allowed to go to China, and experienced it first by looking over the fence into what was then Guangdong province in southern China. Since then, I've been a, uh, a, a Chinese language interpreter. I've directed a Chinese language school in Taiwan been the head of the Chinese Library in uh, Columbia University in New York, been the head of the National Academy of Sciences Exchange Organization with China, and have taught and done research on China and Chinese politics for the past 40 years. The course will be uh, held as a seminar once a week for two and a half hours. Each week, the students will be assigned readings and videos of Chinese history and invited to come and engage in a discussion. It will be a discussion course, not a lecture course. Um, students who take this course should be prepared to do the weekly reading and contribute to the seminar discussion. Uh, the weekly materials, one of the interesting things about the weekly materials is that we have very good footage historical footage on China and the rise of the Chinese Communist Party that will be part of this uh, preparation for this course. You know, I, frankly, this course is being given mostly for myself because I find it so rewarding to engage with uh, master students on international affairs and on the history and future of China. So if you come to this class, you'll be rewarding me uh, for the, uh, your contributions to the course.